Dumped his phone, came up empty. Huh. Nothing from the alarm company. Nothing from the Donovan to indicate anyone there had access to our victim's home security codes. Ran cleaning staff, nannies on all three families, nothing popped. Still working the Donovan's footage. We got nothing yet. There's nothing useful, no nexus. This might be something. Both the Baylors and the Hendersons had worked on in their house this past year. OK, that's good. Contractor? No, contractors were different, but they both used the same interior designer. Landry? Yeah. Landry Interiors, Raquel's company. Design company could easily have access to alarm codes. OK, good. Let's run through their employees. Every word that came out of her mouth, from the grief to the shock, it all felt real. Oh, well, she's good. All right, what else do we have? Looks like a con artist. Picks a mark, spins her yarn, scores, and leaves town. Uh, Denise Murphy, November 2015. Denise's surgeon boyfriend files a report with Detroit PD. Uh, Denise made off in his $180,000 Mercedes. Her and the car were never recovered. Used to be a trail of broken hearts in her past, empty wallets. And Brent was big game. I mean, 60 mil. She did sign a prenup. She signed a prenup? Uh, Brent comes from family money. Prenup is likely par for the course. This would have been a long game con. Huh. OK, so maybe she gets annoyed. She doesn't want to be with Brent anymore. She wants out. So she hooks up with a robbery crew for some fast cash. Something goes wrong, the crew gets greedy, they see her as a mark. Yeah, all possible if we find proof. Look, who the hell is the offender? He's gonna be in her life, in one of them. So dig through her IDs and find him. She meets Sam Olin at the age of 15. By 2006, when she turns 18, Sam gets very abusive and violent. We got one incident report from 2007, Lily Mitchell. Checks into East St. Louis Memorial with severe bruises and a fractured rib, but she didn't want to press charges. Right, I was saying. She wanted out. She gets connected with Axel. Axel sends her an ID, and she escapes to Milwaukee. But Sam finds her. Right, Sam finds her, and she runs again. To Detroit, where she became Denise. And then Sam finds her again, and she becomes Raquel. Exactly. This man gets off on torturing her, tells her if she tells anybody, he's going to kill her and everybody she loves. OK, what happened in Chicago? Sam finds her again, but this time, he wants a piece of her life. Huh. He threatens her, threatens her husband's life, makes her give up those security codes. And her husband's murder? He went over there to kill that man. He figured he was a problem. Hmm. She tries to save him. He shoots at her. Problem is, she has no idea how to find Sam right now. She says she has no clue where he is. I think I know how Sam found her. The passport fell in Axel. He's got an email he uses for clients. She emailed him. Sam shows up in Chicago a week later. He's got Axel's email cloned. OK, so let's use that to lure Sam out. See if Raquel is willing. You email Axel. You tell him you don't want to do this anymore. You can't decide if you want to go to the police or run and that you want to meet up. And then I wait for Sam to kill me, right? Because that's what he's going to do. We're not going to let him hurt you. So I'm bait. Yeah. He ain't even going to get close to you. We'll all have eyes on you. I'm going to give you covert ears so you can hear me, and it'll all be over. He's going to the penitentiary. You can stop running. No more lies. Wabash and Monroe are clear, no sign. He's one level above us. I'm going to get us. All right, I'm at the elevators. I'll go to level three, work my way down. I'll cover the stairwell. I'll keep eyes at the front. 